Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.4 on RHL 9. Open any browser, then go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads, scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL M repository. See here we have the RPM for RHL 9, 8 and 7, 6 and more. Okay, so click on download. Right click on this no thanks, just start download. Now open terminal. Now double get, paste that link, hit enter. We have successfully downloaded ls ltrh. See, we have the RPM package. So down install it by running the command sudo rpm i, then give the mysql, give the tab and hit enter. Then provide the password of sudo user. It is done. Control L to clear screen. Now install MySQL server by running the command sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community hyphen server. Then provide the password of sudo user. See, it is going to install MySQL 8.40 and these are the client versions. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. Type 5 and hit enter. We have successfully installed MySQL community server. Control L to clear screen. Let us verify the status of MySQL server. sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name. Hit enter. See, MySQL service is enabled, but it is not started. So, start it by running the command. Q to quit sudo systemctl start MySQL D. Verify the status. See, MySQL service is active and running. Q to quit. Now, let us connect to MySQL server. Before that, get the temporary password for the MySQL root account. So, grab temporary where log MySQL. See, this is the temporary password for the account root at the rate local host. Okay. Now connect it sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide this password. This password is not same for you. Paste it. Hit enter. See we have successfully connected. See version of mysql server is 8.4.0. If you want to verify the version again select version. This won't work version c reset your password by using alter user statement before executing this statement so set the password for root account alter user root identified by provide the password we have to give the root at the rate local host alter user root at the rate local host identified by now we can get the version see we have installed mysql 8.4.0 now check the list of the databases comes with mysql installation see we have these four databases comes with mysql installation let us create a database create database Now verify again, show databases. See, we have new database. Let us create some objects in this database. So to connect to that database, we have to use the command use, then provide the database. Put semicolon. See, database has changed. 
now create a table create before that verify the list of the tables show tables see we don't have any tables let us create a table See, table is created. Let us insert data into this table. Insert one more row. Now verify the data in this table. Select star from table name. Table name is student. See, we have these three rows in this table. Now let us verify the list of the users comes with MySQL installation. Run the show users. This won't work. We have to check list of the users by running the command. Select user from MySQL dot user. See, these are the default users or the users comes with MySQL installation. Let us create a user. Create user James identified by provide the password. This type of now verify the list of the users again. Select user from mysql dot user see new user james is added let us exit now connect to mysql with the new user hyphen u james hyphen p then provide the password of this user now try to switch to artist course this will throw error because user doesn't have the access to this artist course database so that I will create another video how to grant privileges for the users in MySQL. So exit. Now we will see how to stop, start and restart MySQL service on RHL. sudo systemctl then use the stop then provide the MySQL service name. So this will stop the MySQL server. Hit enter provide the password. Now try to connect to MySQL. I find you root hyphen then provide the password of the root account that we have set see we are unable to connect also we can verify the status see my sql service is inactive or dead we have stopped it 18 seconds ago q took it control it to clear screen let us start it again sudo system ctl start my sql d hit enter this type of Verify status again. See MySQL service is started. Q to get control to clear screen. Let us restart the MySQL service. sudo systemctl restart MySQL D. We can use the GUI tools like MySQL Workbench and DBWR to connect to MySQL. So to install my MySQL Workbench, go to MySQL.com. Click on downloads. Scroll down. Click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL workbench, then select the operating systems, click on download, copy this one, duplicate, paste it, hit enter, it is successfully downloaded, ls, now install this MySQL workbench community action, copy it, sudo rpm i, control l, paste it hit enter so in this case sudo dnf local local install assume s and hit enter
we have successfully installed mysql workbench so now go to activities we can show applications see here we have the mysql workbench click on it see this is the mysql workbench gui tool for the mysql server mysql so click on this plus connection then provide the name for connection mysql 84 rhl9 you can give meaningful name then localhost host name then select the connection method then here give the host name localhost also fine port number is same root user is the root then provide the password click on store in keychain then provide the password of root account click on ok now click on test connection continue anyway connection is success click on ok now click on the connection see the first step is administration and second one is schema schema sir database both are same so let us create a database create database test one select it and click on this execute button it is done refresh see new database is added even if you go to the command line mysql hyphen u root hyphen p hyphen p then provide the password of root account show databases see new database is added so in this video we have seen how to install mysql 8.4 on rhl9 then we have seen how to configure the mysql on rhl then we have downloaded and installed mysql gui tool that is mysql workbench on rhl9 operating system for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you